Hey guys, and welcome back to The Celebi. Here, we keep bringing amazing stuff about your favorite stars and their amazing, though sometimes suspicious lives. Today, we are going to talk about Eiza Gonzalez. Eiza Gonzalez Reina, born the 30th of January 1990, is a Mexican actress and singer. She gained popularity for her debut role as Lola Valente in the Mexican musical telenovela Lola. Erase una vez. She also portrayed the lead role of Clara Molina on the Nickelodeon teen drama Sueña Conmigo. Gonzalez gained further success starring as Santa Nico Pandemonium in the American horror series From Dusk Till Dawn, the series 2014 to 2016. She is also known for her roles as Monica Darling Castello in the action crime film Baby Driver 2017. Missiana in the cyberpunk action film Alita Battle Angel 2019 and Madame M in the Fast and Furious spin-off film Hobbs and Shaw. Just a reminder of how you can enter our new giveaway in which you can win a new iPhone 12 Pro or a new MacBook Pro. Just leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and watch the whole video till the end. 15. She started acting at 13 and lived in Buenos Aires for a year. Aiza's action ambitions kicked in at an early age. At 13, she enrolled in an acting course at M&M Studio, which just so happened to be run by Patricia Reyes Spindola, a Mexican actress famed for her appearances in Motivos de Luz, 1985, and La Reina de la Noche, 1994, at 14. She was studying at the renowned acting school Centre de Educación Artistique at 16. She was playing the part of Lola Valente, lead protagonist in teen drama Lola Erase Una Vez. By 17, she had left Mexico behind to enroll on a three-month acting course at the Lee Strasberg Theater and Film Institute in New York. In April 2009, Eiza was cast in the Nickelodeon teen sitcom Sueña Conmigo. The series was shot in Buenos Aires, forcing Eiza to leave her home in Mexico and set up camp in the Argentinian capital. The series took a year to shoot, although Eiza did manage to occasionally find time between shooting to return to Mexico and reconnect with her family. The show aired throughout Europe and Latin America, proving so popular in Argentina that the cast were invited to perform several concerts throughout the country in the spring and summer of 2011. 14. She was almost cast in All Hail the Squash Blossom Queen. After enjoying several years of success in Spanish-speaking features, Eiza almost broke into English-speaking roles with her casting in All Hail the Squash Blossom Queen 2013. The film, directed by Adrian Cervantes, was set to star Bonnie Wright, Harry Potter's Ginny Weasley, as the lead protagonist, with Eiza taking the role of Brittany. Unfortunately, the film's casting had a major shakeup in 2015, and Aiza was ultimately dropped from the project. 13. Her English-speaking debut was in From Dusk to the Dawn, the series. Aiza may have lost out on a part of All Hail the Squash Blossom Queen, but that didn't put the brakes on her transition into English-speaking roles. In November 2013, Aiza finally got her foot in the door of Hollywood with the TV dramatization of From Dusk to the Dawn. Aiza took the role of Santa Nico Pandemonium, a character originally played by Salma Hayek in the film of the same name. Aiza and the series proved a hit. The show was renewed for a second season and Aiza's status in the industry was well and tri cemented. 12. Her mother is a rock. After her father's sad passing, Aiza's strong bond with her mother proved her saving grace. The older woman's stoic attitude helped pull Aiza out of depression she fell into after her dad's death. And her strength is something Aiza never ceases to admire. My mom was very much alpha. I admired her because she was the working mom on the go. She shared with E! News. She's such a boss. She was so strong and raised her children by herself. She kept being as positive as she could, and she kept going. I adore my mom. She and I are best friends. 11. 
She's notoriously private. As any young actress knows, trying to keep your personal life private can be tough going. Aiza, however, is doing her very best to keep her private affairs exactly that. I don't think it's necessary, she told E! News about her decision to stay close-lipped on her private life. I think that your life as a public person is already so exposed. I don't know why it's such a big thing. 10. She released her debut album in 2009. In 2008, Aiza decided to branch out from acting by signing a record deal with EMI Televisa. Her resulting debut, Contra Corriente, was released by the label in November 2009 in Latin America and in January 2010 in the US. The album proved a huge hit in Latin America, particularly in her home country of Mexico, where it achieved a number 13 spot on the Mexico Top 100 Albums Chart. The popularity of her 2009 debut album inspired Aiza to try and repeat the same success in 2012. Unfortunately, her follow-up album failed to achieve quite the same level of success as her first offering, albeit by only a narrow margin. The album Te Acordáis de Mi polled at number 66 on the Mexico Top 100 album charts and at number 14 on the US Billboard Latin Pop Album chart. 9. She was dropped from the cover of Latina Magazine According to her IMDb profile, Aiza was all set to feature on the May-June 2017 cover of the magazine Latina. Bagging the cover of any magazine is an exciting opportunity for any up-and-coming star, but that rings especially true for publications with the kind of readership Latina, a lifestyle beauty and fashion magazine for bilingual Hispanic women enjoys. Unfortunately for Aiza, the plans were dropped after the magazine ran into financial difficulties amid a leadership shakeup. 8. She's a Neutrogena Ambassador With the kind of flawless skin Aiza sports, it was always just a matter of time before she landed a deal with a skincare brand. In 2015, she did exactly that, securing a sponsorship deal with skincare giant Neutrogena as their new ambassador. In a statement issued at the time, Aiza enthused about how excited she was about being the new face of the brand, especially given how she's been a loyal fan of Neutrogena since she was a teenager. I'm humbled to represent a brand that values the Latina culture and encourages women to embrace a natural, beautiful, and healthy appearance, she enthused. 7. She's an award winner. Despite being only 29 years old, Aiza's career has been substantial. Her nuanced performances in over 14 films and 5 TV shows have certainly not gone unnoticed by critics, who have showered her with praise and awards. Her first win was in 2008 when she picked up a TV novelas award in the category of Best Female Revelation for her work in Lola, Erase Una Vez. In 2011, she picked up a Kids' Choice Award as favorite voice from an animated movie for The Croods, along with another award in the category of Newcomer on TV. In addition to her awards for acting, she's also managed to pick up several for her singing talents, including Favorite Artist at the Kids' Choice Award and Breakout Artist slash Group of the Year at the Lo Nuestro Awards. 6. She has a net worth of $5 million. She may only be 29 years old, but Aiza Gonzalez has already built up a substantial body of work, something that is more than reflected in her hefty fortune. According to CNW, the talented actress is currently worth a reported $5 million, with 2019 set to be Aiza's best year, yet thanks to her roles in such popular franchises as The Fast and the Furious and Godzilla. This is one fortune that isn't going anywhere but up. 5. Her relationships have always been a talk of the town. Aiza has enjoyed several high-profile relationships over the years, including a short-lived but very public entanglement with Safe Haven star Josh Duhamel. The two reportedly began dating in February 2018, following Duhamel's split from Black Eyed Peas singer Fergie in 2017. 
Unfortunately, the relationship didn't last the course, with the pair apparently calling it a day in the summer of 2018. If you're looking for Aiza, we're done, he told reporters. Since her split with Josh Duhamel last year, Aiza has been keeping herself busy with rumored flings with soccer star Jermaine Jones and NBA player Clay Thompson. Although reports of both affairs have been very speculative, the young actress certainly has form when it comes to dating some of the world's most eligible bachelors. Prior to her relationship with Duhamel, Aiza has been linked with the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo, Calvin Harris, and Liam Hemsworth. 4. She's joining the Fast and Furious franchise In November 2018, Variety reported that Aiza was set to join the ensemble of Universal's Fast and Furious spin-off Hobbs and Shaw. Her addition to the franchise was a little last-minute despite producers always wanting the Mexican beauty to join the production. There was some debate as to whether she could fit the feature in between shooting legendaries Godzilla vs. Kong. Thankfully, she could. Aiza will take the role of Madame M in the spin-off, which was released in July 2019. 3. You'll never catch her sunbathing for fans dying to know the secret of Aiza's flawless good looks, the answer is pretty simple, rock climbing, getting regular blood tests, and staying as far away from the sun as humanly possible. The pretty actress told W Magazine that when it comes to looking good from the outside, it's all about loving yourself from the inside. My life motto outside of set is self-love, she says. Love my skin, my hair, my body, and be good to it, and keep it simple. 2. She's set to star in Godzilla vs. Kong In 2018, it was announced that Aiza would be joining Swedish heartthrob Alexander Skarsgård on the set of hotly anticipated movie Godzilla vs. Kong. The feature, which will be the fourth Godzilla outing from Legendary's MonsterVerse, is due to be released in 2D, 3D, and IMAX in March 2020. Aiza's role in the film has yet to be announced, but whether it is, it's sure to do her status as one of the hottest stars in town no harm at all. 1. She refuses to be pigeonholed. Aiza is not one to sit idly by and allow people to perpetuate stereotypes. While proud to be a Latino, Aiza refused to be pigeonholed, something she spoke about in length to E.T. You'll Google some actresses and it says, Actress, Aiza explained. But if you Google me, it's Mexican actress. And that's the stereotype that I want to break. As an actress, that's my agenda. If that means taking smaller roles, that's going to help get to that place and be seen in a different light, so be it. I want people to say, oh, she went and did this, but then went and did that. That to me is the idea. If you watched the video until here, we hope that you liked it. Please like and share and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.